Welcome back queens. So if you saw my previous video featuring the February Bad and Bougie Curl Kit, then you guys saw that this is how I wore my hair for the whole entire week last week. And then this week I had just decided to go ahead and take down my hair, but I wanted to share with you guys. So check the description box below for the full review and demo of the Bad and Bougie Curl Kit if you're interested in seeing how I achieved the style and also getting my full and honest review. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this takedown video. So this is what my hair looks like after a whole week. As you guys can see, it's kind of fuzzy. So I said, well, let me go ahead and take it down so I can rock this twist out. So I just really came on here to show you guys the definition that I received after using the Dark and Lovely All Natural Clay Clumping Cleanser, the Cream of Nature Spray Leave-In. It's the coconut milk from, the, from that collection. And then also I used the All Natural Cream Gel to actually set and style my hair. So after a week, this is what my hair looks like. It's kind of fuzzy. So I decided to take it down this particular night because I was going out with some friends and I knew that I could just go ahead and just rock a full on twist out if I decided to. Again, this, is, this hairstyle is from my previous video reviewing and demoing the Bad and Bougie Curl Kit for the month of February. So after taking down all of my flat twists, this is what it looks like. As you guys can see, the shrinkage is real, but the definition is also real as well. So we're gonna start out by using some of the Lotta Body Wrap Me Foaming Mousse. And then we're gonna also use the Allocate Naturals Aloe Berry Styling Gel. And then we're going to be using the ORS Olive Oil Edge Control Stick and my Texture Pro Detangling Brush. So here I'm just seeing pretty much how I can stretch my hair up into a top knot bun. And you guys, mainly I was trying to make sure that I didn't disturb the curl pattern at the ends of the hair because that's what's going to create the top knot illusion. So I'm just stretching and pulling to see how I can achieve this style. And then I'm just going to take my Texture Pro and just simply brush out the roots. You guys, my hair was very detangled after taking down the flat twist. And then we're gonna start off by using the mousse. And that's what it looks like, you guys. It's very lightweight, but it does provide a lot of hold, especially if you apply a scarf after um, putting this on your hair. And I'm just gonna smooth that in and just work that in. And then next, we're gonna take some of the aloe berry gel from Allocate Naturals, and then we're gonna work that on top of the actual foaming mousse. And I'm gonna lightly brush. I don't want you guys to think that I'm actually brushing my hair very hard. It's very, very light. And then we're going to apply some of the edge control from the ORS olive oil edge control stick. And you guys, like I was sleeping on this thing. It really does hold down my edges. I loved it. And then we're simply gonna brush that down lightly as well. You guys know I'm trying to hold on to my edges, so I was not brushing heavy at all. And then we're gonna start pulling the hair up into a top knot. This is where you want to make sure that you're smoothing the hair down while you're pulling it up into a actual top knot. So that way your hair can actually start to lay down flat and in a sense stretch out as well, as you guys can see. And then I also use my wide tooth pink comb to kind of give it a little lift at the root, smooth it down. And then I'm taking two elastic bands and they are free of the metal class. I do not like elastic bands with the metal class. They tend to snatch out my hair. And then I'm gonna wrap this around about three or four times just try to make sure that I don't have any hair wrapped around the elastic band. I just wanna make sure that I can secure the hair in place and then on the fourth time, I'm just gonna pull the ponytail through but not all the way. And that's what's gonna create the illusion of an actual top knot bun. So now we're gonna go in a little bit more with some of the Lot of Body Wrap Me Foamy Mousse just so I can lay down the sides. You guys know in the front, my hair is a tight a so it's very kinky and coily so it's hard for me to lay it down all the way but I just try to get it the best way that I know how so now we're just simply going to apply a little bit more of the edge control so that way I can smooth it up on the sides and you guys I just love how this edge control worked. like it left my hair slick for like almost three days 
And then I'm simply going to apply my black silk scarf. Um, I've had this thing for years. I got it from the beauty supply store. I love it and it always lays down my edges. And I did leave this scarf on for about, about a, almost a total of three hours. So I did get up and start working on my hair a few hours prior to even getting ready to go out with friends. And then we're just gonna secure that in place and just making sure that the top sides of the actual bun is also laying down as well. And then a few hours later, this is the transformation. I'm just simply put, applying my choker. I love this little necklace. I got it from Walmart. And then I had a couple of twists that I missed taking down, so I decided to show you guys how my hair looked while taking it down. And these are the twists that were in the back, and they are so defined. And I just separated each twist about two to three times, and then that was it. And I took my pick and then fluffed at the roots. So you guys, this is the final look. I hope you guys like it. I really did love the February Bad and Bougie Curl Kit. Oh my gosh, my hair was like still mad soft and it still is. I haven't washed my hair yet, you guys. And look at that, like my little top knot bun is so cute and my little edges are laid. Even though it's not 100% laid, but I love it. So thank you guys so much for watching my King and Queens. If you guys want a tutorial on this makeup look, let me know. But until next time, I love each and every one of you. And I'll see you in the next upload. Be blessed, my King and Queens. Mwah.